Hello, welcome back to my channel. I've got some more beauty products to review, so let's get to it. So let's start out with, uh, I guess the order in which I would use things. So kind of skincare, kind of hair care. I don't even know what you would call it, but uh, the Grande Lash uh, Lash Serums. Uh, this one, so Lashes MD, Eyelash and Eyebrow Conditioner. And this is Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. So I tried both of these out. Neither of them did very much for me. Um, and I've used them up to where they're essentially dried out now and no drops come out. Uh, it's like a little, basically like an eyeliner brush in here. I'll show you. It's like an eyeliner brush and used to be saturated with the conditioner or serum. And you would put it like eyeliner on the top of your lash line. Uh, and I did that every night until I ran out uh, for each of these and saw honestly no difference in my lash growth or health. So I would not buy these again. If anything, well, this one I actually got as a sample, but uh, if anything, they just caused problems. Like they made my eyes itch a little bit if, if they got too close to the waterline and then in the morning I would wake up and it would be dry and flaky in my lashes. Um, so it just, it didn't do anything, didn't help. And if anything, just caused problems, but I gave it a fair shot and I don't think I'll be buying any more lash enhancing serums. Um, next up is primer. Uh, this is the Guerlain Meteorites Base. Um, and if you could see at the bottom, there are these little pearly, pink pearly beads uh, suspended in liquid. Um, it doesn't come out anymore. So when you get to the bottom, you still have some remaining that you just can't get out. Oh, actually a little bit came out. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of annoying that you can't get all the product out and you can't open this top part. So you kind of lose a little bit, so that's a little frustrating. Um, but besides that, it smells very nice. Like it's not a strong fragrance. It's a very light, gentle, luxury fragrance. And the feel of it, uh, it comes out as like a liquidy gel, pink, shimmery, liquidy gel. Um, but it's not a strong pink shimmer. When you apply it, it's not like your face is all, you know, like metallic or pearly or whatever. It just gives it a light, gentle radiance. And uh, so you blend it in kind of like you would like a gel moisturizer or gel serum and wait for it to get a little tacky. And uh, I appreciate that it didn't get too sticky, but just a little bit tacky enough to where you could apply foundation and it would stay for a long time. So um, the only reason I'm not going to be repurchasing this is because I have way too many primers right now. Um, but if I ran out and I was in the market for another primer, I would consider repurchasing this one. So I do recommend it. Uh, I would use it again. I enjoyed using it. it smells lovely. Um, so if you don't mind a little bit of fragrance, um, this is a very nice, slightly radiant primer. Next up is concealer, uh, Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. Uh, this is another one that I would definitely repurchase that I'm only not buying right now because I have some other concealers to try that I've already bought. Uh, but this concealer is waterproof, high coverage. Um, I didn't test it out in water, but it definitely is high coverage, covers all dark circles underneath. I didn't have any issues with creasing. It was really easy to match my shade in the store. Um, I think this one, what shade is this? One zero, zero one zero. There we go. Um, I guess they don't have shade names on here. Yeah, they don't. 
So 010 is my shade. It was really easy to match. Container is clear so you can see through it. It's not tinted at all. Um, and it was a perfect match for me. And very high coverage, no creasing. Love it. I would definitely use it again. Oh, they do have shade names. Okay, this one is Porcelain. 010 Porcelain. So highly recommend Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. Definitely going to be buying that again. Um, next up, I have several mascaras to talk about. These are all deluxe samples. Um, so since I tried them out rapid fire, I can talk to you about them rapid fire because uh, I tried them all back to back. Um, I'll start out with my favorite. So the three that I have are Benefit Roller Lash, Kevin Aquan, the Expert Mascara, and Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. So I was most excited about the Pat McGrath Mascara uh, because I love Pat McGrath eyeshadows and lipsticks. Um, so I thought this was going to be incredible. I was very disappointed by it. Uh, I mean, it just looks like a regular mascara wand, you know, just fluffy mascara wand. Um, but it really didn't do much for my lashes and it didn't build up very well and it kind of flaked a little bit. So it just wasn't worth it to me. I wouldn't spend all the money on a full tube of this just to not have much effect on my lashes. Um, what did surprise me was the Benefit Roller Lash. This is now, I actually bought a full tube of this one because I loved it so much and I actually have two full tubes of it now because I have a backup because my other one's running out. But this one comes in a bit of a curved wand uh, with plasticky bristles and this one really lifts and separates the lashes and lengthens and you can build it up to add volume. So this one does everything that I look for in a mascara beautifully. So I will definitely be repurchasing this, already did. <laughs> um, and we'll keep using it because this is, has become one of my favorite mascaras now. And then last and actually least <laughs> as well, the Kevin Aquan, the Expert Mascara. Um, yeah, I just, so if we were going in terms of like good or well, great, this would be great. Pat McGrath neutral didn't really do much. And then this one for me, the Kevin Aquan one was just bad. Um, so it comes in this weird curvy brush or with this weird curvy brush. Um, which I guess is supposed to be designed to lift and plump in, and I, I get the idea behind it, but it was just kind of annoying to use. And again, it didn't do much for my lashes, and it dried out way too fast, and it, it applied all clumpy, and then the clumps would, like, flake off throughout the day, and it was just, and then, like, streak when you tried to wipe it off or brush it off. Uh, even if you used like a spoolie, it would just be a bad situation. So I will definitely not be buying the Kim Naquan, the Expert Mascara. Um, but, you know, I like other things from the brand. I'm obsessed with their, uh, the Kim Naquan Contour Powder. It comes in like a little, little thing kind of like this size. Um, and that is my absolute hands out favorite contour powder. So nothing against the brand, just did not like this one product, unfortunately. Moving on, uh, just kind of give you a sneak preview, but I'm not gonna stay on this one too long. This is the NARS Orgasm Mascara, or not mascara, blush. Um, I am down to the very bottom of this. This stuff is amazing. I. This was a deluxe sample of it, but I actually have the full size in my makeup bag right now. Um, I've used it for years, love this stuff. It's amazing. I'm part of the cult, so 
Uh, if you haven't yet tried it out, definitely try it out. NARS Orgasm Mascara looks amazing on everyone. Um, also, it doesn't streak or patch up. It applies perfectly. And last but not least, the Tarte, Tartus, Tartiest, uh, probably Tartist, uh lip paint um, in Birthday Suit. So this is an amazing product. Um, I like it for my everyday makeup. It applies so comfortably. It's a, it's a, I guess a liquid lipstick, but it's got an interesting cushiony formula, kind of like the NYX, uh, what is it, lip butters, uh, where it applies and it feels almost like a powder because it's so smooth and velvety. Um, and it applies nicely. It, the color of this is perfect for me. And I just really enjoyed wearing it every day. I literally had no issues with it. It didn't dry out my lips, caused no problems. And I, when I ran out of it, I was pretty upset. So clearly it did a good job and I'm gonna need to buy the full size of this uh, to wear every day because now I don't really have uh, an everyday lip product other than a plain gloss. So now those have been my makeup, you know, tryouts recently. Liked some of them. Some were, you know, didn't really do anything. And then some were just plain out bad. But I think I had more positives this time. So hopefully we'll continue that upward trend. And um, let me know if you guys have tried out any of this stuff. And if you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. See ya.